Matthew McAdam says he's still haunted by his time at the Royal Canadian Mint. He hasn't returned to his production job since constant bullying and harassment led to a nervous breakdown. This was a whole year. Every single day approached about how I was doing something sexual for somebody for some preferential treatment. It got so bad, he says he told his wife he considered suicide. I was at a point that I, I started to talk to her about finding a replacement for me. McAdam says his case is not an isolated incident. A new report commissioned by the Mint and obtained by CBC News backs that up. I would have liked for the president, for HR, for management to believe me or any others in the first place. Former employee Joelle Hanselin first spoke to us in the summer about incidents of sexual harassment and racism while working as a protective services officer. I had one officer point at me and he said, chimpanzee, we work with one. She left two years ago, but the probe found a toxic environment still exists in the Crown Corporation's protective security services. It makes 24 recommendations to improve that unit's workplace culture. Hanselin isn't convinced they'll make a difference. Nobody has been fired. In a statement to CBC News, the Mint says it's committed to implementing all of the recommendations. McAdam wants the Mint to go further. There needs to be a serious inquiry into all departments, and I think, I think the union really needs to stand up here. The Public Service Alliance of Canada is calling on the Mint to launch a broader investigation into allegations of discrimination and harassment corporation-wide. The Mint hasn't said if it will take further action. Olivia Stefanovic, CBC News, Ottawa.